Now that we've finished diagram C, let's move on to diagram D. Supplies that are needed will be two alligator leads, which are included, but you're going to need one 9-volt battery, which is not included in the kit. We've got two alligator leads. Doesn't matter what color they are. I have them this color just to make it easier to show you the positive and ground. Positive is usually red, ground is usually black, but the color doesn't matter. It's just plastic. Now, when you get your kit, you're going to have two alligator leads that have alligator clips at both ends. You're going to need to cut off one of each so that we have loose wire on one end. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this. Discard these over here. I'm going to have to strip the wire like we did before. With this little space in the, in, the, in the blade, I can strip this wire. So I can put it in there, hold it at a slight angle, pull. This in the, in the hole, put it at a slight angle, pull. I'm going to take these and I'm going to twist them. I'm going to twist them real good. And this one I'm going to twist up real good. And we'll be able to insert these into the breadboard just like we did all the other parts. So that's what I'm doing. Twisted wire is a little bit more difficult to insert because it can kind of become untwisted. And so you want to twist them up real tight so that they stay in place. You might even want to use your needle nose pliers to insert them into your breadboard. But if you twist them up real good, you can trim them so that they're just about a half inch. And you're ready to put your alligator leads onto your breadboard. Now, we'll start with the negative. The alligator lead you're going to use for your negative can be any color at all, but I'm going to use black just to, so it's easy. Now, this can go anywhere in the negative row on the left. See how we have our black battery wire is in the negative? We can push this into the negative row. And I thought you're going to need needle nose pliers for this. And grip it so just a little bit. And just feed it into the breadboard, into the negative row. I'll put it in here. You just feed that into the breadboard, like so. So now I have an alligator clip in my breadboard. Now the red one. goes to B2. B2 is where the positive output is at on this circuit. So we find B2. B2 would be right there. And we're going to put this alligator lead, the positive, which is red. B2, slide that into place. Like so. Now, 